Hello, my name is Scott Cutler, and I'm a planner with the City of Wheat Ridge Community Development Department. I'm presenting case number WZ-1903, which is a request for approval of a zone change from Agricultural 2 to a planned mixed-use development with an outlined development plan. I'd like to enter into the public record the contents of the case file, the zoning ordinance, the comprehensive plan, and this digital presentation. The property is within the City of Wheat Ridge, all appropriate notification and posting requirements have been met, and therefore the Planning Commission has jurisdiction to hear this case. This is a 2018 aerial view of the property. The property is outlined in red. It's just under 23 acres and is currently vacant. The Ward Road Pond is a large portion of the property. It's located at the southeast corner of the I-70 Frontage Road North and Ward Road, just north of I-70 and the off-ramp to Ward Road. The surrounding area is a mix of uses, but primarily commercial and industrial in nature. The Wheat Ridge Ward Commuter Rail Station is located just off the map to the northeast, about a half mile walk from this site. This is a zoning map. The site is zoned Agricultural 2. Most of the surrounding zoning is industrial employment or planned industrial development. The Kaiser campus to the west is zoned C1. At the top of the screen to the north is the TOD area, which is primarily zoned mixed use. Some neighborhoods further southeast are zoned R2. The topography of the site makes development challenging. The site slopes steeply from the frontage road down to the shoreline of the pond. The only flat area on the site is the area extending into the pond on the east side of the site. As I'll discuss in a minute, Development in the northwest area of the site will need to conform with the existing steep topography. Some portions of the site along the frontage road are preserved in a slope easement, which was created when the road was constructed and will not allow for development in that area. The request tonight is for a rezone from A2 to Plan Mixed Use Development, PMUD. Given the surrounding conditions, the unique topography, and the presence of a large pond, the PMUD zoning, is the most appropriate zone change option. The plan development process entails several steps before development can occur. With this application, we are only at step one. The Outline Development Plan, ODP, accompanies the zone change request by establishing the zoning and development standards. In the future, a specific development plan, SDP, will be required for each development site as created by the ODP. A subdivision may also be required to clean up existing lot lines, create developable parcels, and to sell or develop lots separately or under different ownership. The code allows for processing ODPs and SDPs concurrently or sequentially, and the applicant has chosen the sequential two-step option. I'll go through the ODP document and then talk about the criteria for review and staff findings. The Outline Development Plan establishes the PMUD zoning. The ODP is two sheets in this case, which are in the staff report. The first page has standard signature blocks, legal descriptions, development standards, and a description of the development. The second sheet, shown here, contains the proposed site layout, which I'll show in more detail in just a minute. The site is broken into two planning areas. Planning Area 1 is located at the northwest of the site at the hard corner of Ward Road and the Frontage Road. Planning Area 2 is much larger, but contains the entire pond, most of the shoreline, and a spit of land on the east side of the property with a development pad that extends into the pond. This is a close-up of PA1 showing the primary features. The sole public access point will be located halfway between Ward Road and Van Gordon Street on the Frontage Road. Only emergency access was permitted by CDOT on Ward Road. The proposed pedestrian trail location is shown along the pond shoreline in purple. The final location of this trail will be determined at time of SDP through review of engineering documents, but the ODP requires a pedestrian trail as part of its open space commitments. The proposed building envelopes are shown in brown. Due to the topography, these buildings will be built into the hillside with opportunities for parking behind or underneath the buildings. Much of the shoreline area is being preserved as open space. This is a close-up of PA2. You can see the continuation of the pedestrian trail 
along the north side of the pond to the access point shown at the northeast corner. The city's proposed linear park and trail will connect across the frontage road to the north, allowing a direct connection to the transit station. The access point shown here traverses Tract A of the Lakemont Center development over an access easement, and a drive aisle would head south along the narrow portion of land to the building pad in PA2. The current zoning is Agricultural 2, which is a relic of the site's past as a gravel quarry. A2 would allow single-family homes on lots of an acre or more or agricultural uses. In today's context, it is an atypical zoning for a site with adjacency to an interstate and within a half mile of a commuter rail station. This slide goes over the proposed development standards for the site, which are detailed on page one of the ODP document, including uses, architecture, building height, parking, setbacks, and landscaping requirements. The permitted uses and development standards shown here seek to balance the site's proximity to transit, access to water, visibility from the interstate, adjacency to a state highway, and the city's desire for high quality urban design and open space. We use several criteria to evaluate zone change requests, which includes consistency with the comprehensive plan. Full analysis of the criteria for consideration of the zone change are provided in the staff report. This image is an excerpt from the comprehensive plan which provides some guidance in terms of land use. The light purple designation denotes a mix of uses, including employment, which is denoted by the large asterisk. You can see here again the site's proximity to the train station. The comprehensive plan and more recent planning documents call for a mix of transit supportive uses in the area. Residential uses closer to the train station and on the site will essentially bookend the subarea and support the employment uses and retail businesses in the area, creating a rich diversity of land use that is called for in the city's guiding documents. As a requirement of the zone change process, a neighborhood meeting was held on June 11, 2019 at City Hall. One person attended the meeting in addition to the applicant team and staff, and the notes from that meeting are included in the staff report. Since Wheat Ridge is not a full-service city, we sent the application on referral to outside agencies including fire, water, and sanitation, as well as it completed an internal review. We did not receive any concerns or objections from outside agencies. Because ODPs are conceptual in nature, many of the specific utility comments and review will come at time of the SDP. Before the hearing, the property was posted for 15 days and letters were sent to property owners within a 600-foot radius. Comments collected on the Wheat Ridge Speaks website will be reviewed by the planning commissioners and entered into the public record. Staff believes the zone change request meets the criteria. It allows for a compatible land use. It complies with the comprehensive plan and the city's vision for transit supportive uses and recreational amenities in the Northwest sub area. And it provides opportunity for reinvestment in the area. Ultimately, staff is recommending approval of the request. Planning Commission will recommend a decision to City Council who will also review the ODP. If City Council approves the ODP, the zone change is approved and the applicant can move forward with a specific development plan and subdivision plot. That concludes my presentation. Thank you.